and summon analysis live demonstration. So, ओम श्री धन्वंतरे नम दिव वैद्याय विमे धन्वंतरे चीमे तो देव प्रचोदया रागादि रोगान सततान शक्तान प्रशेष काय प्रसृतान शेषा औत्सुक्य मोहारिदान जगान यो अपूर्व वैद्याय नमस्कृत फैकल्टी मेम्बर्स पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट फोकस्ड फर्स्ट इयर बी एम एस ग्रेजुएट सो इट इज अलेबस पॉइंट फॉर फर्स्ट इयर यूजी स्टूडेंट it is also a syllabus for uh, rogal idana students and it is also a syllabus point for final year kaichikitsa rasayana and vajikarana students and it is a part and parcel of kaichikitsa pg syllabus and other uh, departmental uh, pgs also have the same syllabus parts so in the morning it was a big feast that the modern part of male reproductive system is dealt by The modern specialist song, wherein uh, we were having lot of information to learn. Many inputs were very good, and some of our questions were clarified by basic science departments of modern science. This is actually integration. Integration is not Ayurvedic doctor prescribing a paracetamol. Integration is conceptually we should integrate and exchange the knowledge so that our science we can understand in a better way. For that purpose, today on the part of uh, CME on uh, Shukra Dhatu, uh, this is focused. Our point is focused for undergraduate students. If at all few points are there, it can be shared to all others. This Shukra Dhatu, the word meaning is which is bright white, which is clear, and which is pure. The purity is Shukra. When dhatus are having dharana karma, Shukra is also doing dharana karma because it is the last metamorphosed dhatu in Ayurveda. And in the beginning itself, we have to understand stem cell therapy because many books from Hindi, English, Kannada, Telugu, Tamil, Marathi they have translated from my undergraduate time that rasad raktam tato mamsam mamsam yeda pujaay. That they have discussed are translated as karma parinama paksha. Rasa is converted into rakta, rakta is converted into mamsa, mamsa is converted into meda. Like that they have to translate. But in in reality, in the current physiological perspective, the rasa stem cell will give rise to all seven dhatus: rasa raktam, rasa mamsa, rasa meda, rasa majja, rasa shukra. This is actually the scope for uh, research in basic science in Ayurveda. Where the essence of all dhatus, transversely, transversely, each dhatu gives rise to one ojas, and vertically at the end of sapta dhatu saram ojas is also manufactured. So in Pramey and Idana, when Acharya Charaka talks about in Sutra Sthana, Rasauja, Rasauja is Rasa plus Oja is Hindi books coming. Through. It is not Rasa plus Oja. The ojas born out of transverse metabolism of Rasa dhatus ojas par. That's why in Rasa Pradosha Jivikara, there is Klebia is one of the diseases, and in Rasa Pradosha Jivikara, we have to understand Klebia. In Shukra Pradosha Jivikara also we have to understand Klebia, and Shukra Gata Vata and Shukra Aurta Vata also we have to understand reproductive diseases. This in the Charaka Sutra Sthana 29th also, if you see Shankho Marmatrayam Kanto Rakto Shukra Jasi, Yeshu Prana Ha Pratishtita Ha, Prana is present in Shukra. Prana is present in Ojas. This Prana is nothing but a totipotent or multipotent, pluripotent stem cells. If stem cell is destructed, 
the person will have a various irreversible diseases so this concept of prana in shukra is having a mood and ambiguity in many of the uh, stanzas people talk uh, talk that bindu patena maranam one drop of semen if it is fell down person will die this is a mood and ambiguity but what is the science behind that is the totipotent cells or stem cells of shukra if they are destructed or the semen plus androgens plus stem cells if they are destructed or overused then they will cause maranam so ativevaya jinna shosha is told in ayurveda but allopathy people tell that excessive masturbation is physiological they are contradictory because ayurveda says dharaniya and adharaniya vegas in that shukra vega dharana is also indicated shukra vega na dharana is also indicated many of the stalwarts of english uh, charaka samhita translators have dealt in sutra sthana that in trayopastamba ahara nidra brahmacharya is told in ashtanga sangraha ahara nidra abrahmacharya is told and brahmacharya is translated in english as celibacy celibacy is not ayurvedic concept not at all having shukra ejaculation or shukra vega udirana is wrong as per ayurveda shukra vega should be expelled whenever there is a need for reproductive or procreative sex so like this a post graduate scholar can think that many times we cannot rely on hindi english translations we have to understand the inner meaning or in between the line of a summary as a bma student you should also know which is right and wrong many times we have seen that our student will read only translated uh, languages of text but not the original text that will be harmful for research purpose we have to understand the original line ayatana niva ayatana ni tadupagate pranopagatana for example when due to the testicular tumor if both testes are removed patient will not die whereas a severe hit over the scrotum patient may go into anaphylactic shock and die two issues are there surgical resection of testes patient will not die whereas a severe hit by a cricket ball or any other uh, external injuries patient may lose the life that much of uh, vasovagal shock or anaphylactic shock is also expected that's why it is called pranayatana this uh, madhyam samudbhava is one of the synonym of shukra it means the totipotent uh, stem cells of uh, bone marrow will give rise to shukra so in the current uh, scenario you know when when i was a undergraduate uh, scholar we used to be asked in viva was that how bone marrow can give rise to spermatozoa we were not having answers in front of examiner we are all uh, going to bow down our heads but now we are having the answer that majja can give rise to spermatozoa the totipotent cells or stem cells of bone marrow can manufacture spermatozoa in the same way adipose tissue the stem cells of adipose tissue can manufacture spermatozoa like this we are able to understand majja samudbhavam is one of the synonym of shukra there is another context in understanding uh, ayurveda as a beginner of uh, first year bms will be knowing retas word is used retas is synonym for shukra but the meaning of retas practically is different what we do semen analysis after one hour of this lecture in our andrology lab is reto pariksha we are examining the semen we are examining the retas reto doshodbham klebyam is acharya charaka chikitsa sthana 38th chapter that retas is different reto doshodbham klebyam that retas is the hypothalamus pituitary gonadal hormones in the morning we learned that testosterone and dihydro testosterone are responsible for masculinity male ejaculation male power or male virulence all are done by testosterone with dihydro testosterone that is reto doshodbham klebyam their retas is not semen semen will not cause any erectile dysfunctions semen is a ejaculatory material it is rupa rupa dravya during the uh, pleasure between couple what material ejaculates out is retas and that we examine for spermatozoa sperm motility sperm count and abnormal forms and anti sperm antibodies agglutination so many things that we will discuss in the next uh, few slides bijam word also note semen 
Bija word is also used for semen. Bija word directly indicates spermatozoa, the gamete. The gamete which is responsible for reproduction is Bija. Whereas Ananda Samut Bhavan, it is in Charaka Samhita, in the time of during orgasm, whatever is ejaculated is called Ananda Samut Bhavan. It is for both common to male and female. Female also ejaculates Bartholin secretions. Male also secretes accessory gland secretion. Both are Ananda Samut Bhavan. During masturbation or during coitus, what is ejaculated due to the pleasure? So this is where Sigmund Freud, the famous psychologist, talks about Ananda Samut Bhavan. During the excitement and during the orgasm, what is ejaculated is Ananda Samut Bhavan. Paurusham. Paurusham is muscular power. See, Vyayama and Vivaya both are exercises. Anything excess is wrong, nothing done is Avyayam will cause Kafaja Dushtis or Kafaja Prameha, etc. So, in the current uh, uh, scenario, some of the uh, papers have been published that instead of going to 8 kilometers walking, have a sexual intercourse. Equal calories are burnt. So, Vivaya and Vyayama both will burn the calories. So, calorie burning technique is also used by the term Paurusham. Paurusham is not that uh, in the Jangi Kusti they will show the arm. That's not the Paurusham. Paurusham is in front of the spouse, the repeated sexual intercourse is Paurusham. Or whenever there is a demand from the spouse, if the person is able to do the sexual intercourse, that is Paurusham. I have seen in our clinical practice, we used to tell in the postgraduate study also, we used to tell the calendar method for reproduction and fertility dates. Whenever we tell the male patient that next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, these five days are fertile period, ovum is released, egg is released, you must have intercourse. As a PG scholar, we used to do the compelling. But later on, we learned that after one or two years, we came to know that it is not practically possible. Whenever we give a calendar date for sexual intercourse, person will have erectile dysfunction on those days. Because with that psychological stress, they cannot maintain the erection. So that's why Paurushan is Whenever a person needs the excitement or mood or erection, that is going to happen with the strength, sexual strength and performance by muscular exercises, that is Paurusha. Virya is the potency. Virya is the potency is that whenever we, we, we wanted to know about the infertility due to the improper coital practice. What is improper coital practice is, we have uh, two, three examples. In the past month, we have three patients who have got undescended testes. Our PGs are working on that. Both testes are undescended and married since eight years and the male and female both don't know that scrotum is empty. They are having sexual intercourse, he is having sexual erection. In the same way, one of my patients was having uh, infertility for long than uh, nine years or seven years like that. Then we started uh, giving the sexual education. Then she realized that, is this the root? They were having sodomy and they were having primary infertility. They never know that which is the root of sexual intercourse. After nine years or seven years, they don't detect means that is due to the virium. The capacity to ejaculate semen directly into the os, external os, is virium. Ejaculating just on the introitus, infertility will be there. Ejaculating in the fornices, infertility may be there but ejaculating directly into the external os. Directly there will be cervical os and it will be opened for 48 hours or 72 hours and patient will get conceived. That capacity, just like it is a throw ball, placing the ball directly onto the target, that is virium. And virium is a capacity, strength, once again masculine power and tejas. Tejas is the, uh, the freshness of the semen. Exactly. When semen is stored without any uh, techniques of storing, there will be decline in the motility. We see that in the first half an hour, once there is a liquefaction, there will be good motility. A rapid linear progressivity is very good at the end of half an hour, at the end of one hour, but at the end of one and a half hours, the motility capacity of the spermatozoa declines and by the end of two hours, it will be more or less. And this is called tejas. The inner energy in the sperm and spermatozoa, the mitochondrial power or fructose content of the sperm to give strength to the spermatozoa and semen is called tejas. And pumstom. Pumstom is 
capacity of the man to perform sexual intercourse and get conceived. If anybody is having male infertility since many years, it is pum pum is less. And uh, rightly quoted by Acharya Charaka, the pippali, marichal, gugulu, lavana, these are pum pum upagata karam. If it is used for a longer time in higher dose. So that pum pum is a man's capacity of reproductive success. When you come to the Panchabhotika constitution, this is the only body dhatu which is having four elements. Normally, Acharya Sushruta and Charaka says that Sarvan Dravyam Dravyam Panchabhotika. All Dravyas are Panchabhotika and all Dhatus in the body are also Panchabhotika. But Shukra is the only Dhatu where Akasha Dhatu is not explained. But in practice, we come across with the, with the properties of Akasha Dhatu and Shukra. But in the Shastra, it is told that Akasha Dhatu is not participating in Pancha Panchi Karana of Shukra Dhatu Nirmana. That may be due to the fact that the sperm doesn't require any space because it itself is having self motility capacity, self generated motility capacity. Without the expectation of the space, the sperm is going to move. That's why they have used the word word that. And another concept in Sushruta Sharivastana is Saumyam Shukram Artava Marne. As a beginner of Ayurveda, the student must know that. Visargadana Vikshetai hi Soma Suryani Lastata Dharayanti Jagat Deham Kakakitani Lastata. The whole universe is having three important issues Visarga, Adana, Vikshetai. These three functions go in the cosmos. It is due to Soma Suryani Lastata, Soma Tattva, Surya Tattva, and Anila Tattva. In the same way in the body, Yata Pindande, Tata Brahmande. So in the body also, Kakakitani Lastata, Kafa is Soma Tattva, Pitta is Surya Tattva. And Vata is Anilata. So, whenever we come across patients with Vataja Shukra Dushti, Pitaja Shukra Dushti Lakshanas, Kafaja Shukra Dushti Lakshanas, or Partiva Dravyas are to be given, Apya Dravyas are to be given, the sign of drug is to be given, we calculate this Panchamangutika composition of Shukra and Virya. So, Saumyam Shukra, you should give Saumya Aushadis for Shukra Vardhana. And for Arthavam, Agniya Aushadi should be given. But in practice, we see that in the morning you are uh, uh, watching about the testosterone high dose will suppress the feedback mechanism and spermatogenesis decline. <coughs> That's why if you read the uh, Falashruti of Shatavari Grutam, Shatavari Adi Grutam and Shatavari Grutam are two molecules in uh, Ayurveda. Shatavari Grutam is directly indicated in Shukra Vardhana, Reto Vardhana, Virya Vardhana. So Shatavari Adi Grutam of Sahasra Yogam is also effective. Two clinical trials have been conducted, one under my co-guidance with uh, Gadag uh, Ayurvedic College, where Dr. KSR Prasad was guiding. There we have done the trial that Shatavari is a female hormone drug, but still it is going to develop the male spermatogenesis because Shatavari has got a dual action on estrogen, FSH and testosterone. That's why it is effective in this. So a research scholar can think like this, whereas for undergraduates, this is not the uh, right time to tell all this. Whereas, Saumyam Shukram Artava Magneya, if you read Vaishyadi Ratnavali, where they say about uh, Trikatu Prayogam in the management of two genesis, where Trikatu is a definite Agni Mahabhut, where Trikatu is uh, having all Agni Yagunas, and Trikatu is going to cause ovulation induction. So, there are Artavam Agneya, Saumyam Shukram. So, Soma and uh, Agneya Tattva are two important principles out of three. Soma and Surya are important principles in reproductive medicine. That's why in Sharirastana, if you see that the food told for female and male are different, Grita and Masha, Tila and Guda Prayoga is told. Tila Guda is XX and Masha Grita is XY because these heterogeneous compounds are told as dietary supplements for the purpose of Soma and Shukram, Artavam Agneya. Vayu Agni Ambu Guna Bhuish Tattva Shadbyo Rasebhyaha Prabhavas Chattas. See, Charaka Sharira makes a Samanvaya Siddhanta. Even though Sushruta says four elements are participating in Shukra Dhatu, he says all Panchamagutas and Shadrasas are responsible for manufacturing of Shukra Dhatu. Shadbyo Rasebhyaha Prabhavas Chattas. How Shukra is manufactured? It is Prabhavaha Shadbyo Rasebhyaha. So this is one of the important uh, points for uh, UG students that Shukra Dhatu components are Shedrasas. Madhuramla Lavana Katitikta Kashaya. 
All six rasas are present in Shukra Dharma. So, Shadra Sopeta Aharam is the balanced diet which will improve the Shukra Dharma. And Shadra Sayukta Dravyas is one of the beautiful research for Dravyaguna research scholars and Vaishyaji Kalpana research scholars, or even Rashastra school of scholars. Parada is Shadra Sopeta. And Shukra is also Shadra Sopeta. So, Vridhi Samana is Sarvesham Viparita Viparita. We are not having materialistic deduction approach of modern diet. By giving testosterone, spermatogenesis will improve is a deduction approach. But by giving Shadra Sopeta Padarasam or Paradam or Rasam, there will be improvement in Shadra Sopeta Prabhavam Shukra. So, Shukra, if you want to improve, don't give any single Rasas. Madhur Rasati Prayoga is also not correct. Amla Lavana, any one single rasa prayoga is not correct. Whereas Shadra Sopeta Ahara Aushadi is good for Saumyam Shukram and Arthava Magni. In functions of Shukra Dhatu, Shukram Tadasya Pravadanti Dhira, Yadi Yate Garbha Samudhava. The important most function of Shukra is, as per Ayurvedic classics, Garbha Samudhavaya. The Ayurveda says about the one and only important karma. Function of Shukra is Garbha Samudpava. There are so many other karmas for Shukra. But the important most uh, function of Shukra is Garbha Samudpava. So whenever a patient comes with couple infertility or male infertility, or uh, so we check the Shukra because one of the important karma of Shukra is Garbha Samudpava. The spouse is not conceived. So Garbha Samudpava karma of Shukra is lost. So the one and only function of Shukra is Garbhutpati. If Garbhutpati is not happening, check the Shukra. In Nashtanga Sangraha, Shari Rastana, instead of uh, Shukra Pariksha, he says Indriya Pariksha. Indriya Pariksha is told as a synonymous word for semen analysis in Nashtanga Sangraha. The Garbhutpadana reproduction, it is understood that when uh, Garbhutpati takes place, automatically reproductive sexual intercourse will be happening. So there is no separate need to tell that. Uh, the Shukra Karma is Garbhodpadana as well as Shukra Karma is the Vivaya Karma. It's not necessary to tell. This is called Kaimutya Nyaya. If anybody is from basic principal department, research can be done on Kaimutya Nyaya. It is one of the Nyaya that when I said that person conceived, it, it means that he is having sexual arousal and erection. So that is called uh, Kaimutya Nyaya. As a basic principal PG scholar, they can work on this. Shukram, Dairyam, Chavanam, Preetim, Harsham, Dehabalam, Karoti, Bijartham. Other uh, Sushrita's uh, functions of Shukra are Bijartham. One is gametogenesis is one of the Shukra Karma. Here Shukra Karma is dihydrotestosterone and testosterone activity. That is Bijartham. Whereas Dehabalam, by Shukra, how can we expect that patient will get Dehabalam? Any muscle builder or body builder they should take Shukran and Arthat. It is not like that. Dehabalam means the testosterone and dihydrotestosterone, they stimulate the male sexual characters and male sexual patterns. And that is Dehabalam. If you want to know that, I have seen a patient, one of the female patients, in the last two months back, they come to my OPD, where I saw that an 80 year old lady unable to get up, sit up, stand, walk, work, eat, sleep. She is unable to sleep. That much of Balakshaya was noticed. And all modern doctors have investigated many tests and reports were having three files. But I came to know that after the menopause, she will not be she. She will be he. You can see this. After a 70 years old lady, if you see her skin, if you see her voice, if you see her uh, patterns of physiology, she will be almost male. Because estrogen is lost and testosterone is dominant. But in that patient, we evaluated total testosterone, bioavailable testosterone, and sex hormone binding globulin. Then we came to know that testosterone was zero in that. So, Shukra a old lady, not for the reproductive purpose, they have alum purpose. She was having testosterone zero. Actually, in the female, 0 0.2 to 0 0.45 nanograms of testosterone must be present. But she was having zero levels of testosterone. That's why her dehabalam was less. And we have started Kapikachur Asylum for her. Then she started feeling better after 15 days. She felt that she is able to eat, she is able to sit, and she is able to talk. That much of Bala started by Vajikarana drugs in the postmenopausal women. So, Preetim Harsham. 
if any husband or any male partner is not showing preeting harsham towards the spouse then we have to understand that it is shukra kshaya lakshana there is a difference between kshina shukra lakshanam and shukra kshaya lakshanam both are different shukra kshaya is shukra dhatu kshaya where preeting harsham all these will be less chavanam is one of the function of shukra chavanam is movement see in many of the cases when patients have two or three children at the age of 40 or 45 plus when they are in a movie theater when they are in a function when they are in a reception when they are in a tourist spot they will simply sit quiet there is no movement at all this is chavanam there should be some mitigation of human male body whenever there is a spouse next to him if there is no movement at all he is not turning towards at all if he is not having any sense of uh, awareness that there is a spouse next to him that is chavanam a movement which is involuntarily happening in male due to the shukra normal is missing that is chavanam dhairyam is there is a lack of dhairyam what i was telling when we give calendar of events that on the fertile period you should have intercourse patient loses the dhairyam he don't have a courage to have intercourse because of sudden loss of erection so that is dhairyam when to have a sexual intercourse person should have dhairyam some of the people are very uh, depressed very low mood very low esteem they will not have a proper proper ejaculation of semen into the cervical canal then when semen is not deposit high up in the vagina there will be no conception and for this in mudanambike in vastu jyotisha people they talk about chandra nadi i was not knowing what is this chandra nadi but later on i came to know that chandra nadi is cervical os if semen is not deposited due to the lack of dhairya i have seen that with, there are some of the premature ejaculation patients who are having lack of dhairya within one or two strokes of the pelvis they will have ejaculation and they will stop intercourse that is dhairya they don't have dhairya with the fear of premature ejaculation shukram munchanti badnati shukra gata vata lakshana they cannot have a proper sexual erection and ejaculation at the time that is dhairya nash these are all the functions of shukra normal karmas location of the shukra datu since morning we are talking about this shukra datu is sarvadehika shukra datu is available in the shukra vasrutu mula so scrotal shukra is germinal epithelium secreting testosterone and converting dihydro testosterone plus spermatozoa is sthanika shukra which is ejaculated in the rectus and we are using it for reproductive purpose whereas sarvadehika shukra is not this saptami shukra dara yan ya sarva praninam sarva sharira vyapini yatha paisi sarpistu gudas chekshu raso yatha sharireesh tatha shukram nuna vidya bishabara the expert physician says that just like sweetness in the jaggery or in the sugar cane or just like the ghee in the milk there is shukra in the entire body harsha tarsha sparshana sankalpa pravano nitya when a patient decides to have sexual intercourse hypothalamus pituitary thyroid gonadal axis gets stimulated so sarvadehika shukra see manasi sarvadehika chetana dhatu is sarvadehika ojas is sarvadehika vata pitta kapha is sarvadehika and uh, ojas is also sarvadehika shukra is also sarvadehika by just imagination of sexual intercourse person gets horripilation in the entire body and sarvadehika shukra that is the androgens and the um, adrenal gland secretions of the testosterone will start moving they cause stimulation of the entire body and cerebral cortex then limbic system then person will give a instruction to the local tissue that due to the sarvadehika shukra chavanam the local testicular spermatozoa or seminal fluid will start ejaculating when time comes if this is not in your control and in the dream analysis sigmund freud says that if you start imagining in the morning and it is not possible to have a sexual intercourse in the night you will get the same dreams in the dream patient is having sexual intercourse or in the dream he is having a beautiful dream of a sexual act and there will be sudden night fall that syndrome or in the night patient will have ejaculation of the semen that is also due to the sarvadehika shukra ejaculated by local shukra due to the means of dream as an impact factor so 
कलाह खलो की सप्त भवंती धातु आशय अंतर मर्यादा दीज स्टेम सेल्स एंड्रोजन एंड अडेन ग्लैंड सक्रीशन आर सार्वधिक शुक्र एंड स्थानिक शुक्र इज सेमिनेफेरस ट्यूब्यूल मैनुफैक्चरिंग दिस परमेटोजोवा एंड सेमिनेफेरस वेजाइकल एंड प्रोस्टेटिक युत्र सेक्रेटिंग दि वैटिश सिल्कि फ्लूड टोटली वी आर कॉलिंग एट एज रूप द्रव्यम आर रेत सो सार्वधिक शुक्र and uh, sthanika shukra both are explained in ayurveda and in sushruta nidana sthana 10th chapter there is one more similar quotation is done by acharya sushruta in the context of the milk ejaculation in a breastfeeding mother he says when a breastfeeding mother imagines about her child when she touches the baby in her lap or when she want to feed the baby by her mindset there will be ejaculation of the lactiferous ducts and they start ex- uh, ejaculating the milk breast milk for the purpose of kid the same phenomena is there in sarvadeek shukra and sthanik shukra so sushruta's uh, nidana sthana context of breast feeding concept and sarvadeek shukra coming into the shukra vasrotu mool and ejaculating only reto reta sees ejaculate see the entire body secretes the shukra dhatu but bija is not ejaculate androgens are not ejaculate cytoplasm is not ejaculatory stem cell is not ejaculatory whatever ejaculatory it is accessory gland secretion plus spermatozoa so this is the beautiful dna encoded artificial intelligence in human male body understand otherwise if androgens and semen both are ejaculatory person will not uh, live for a longer time so this is how we should understand the location of shukrada just like rasa ikshu ikshurasa contains sweetness tadni sarpi in the curd there is gruta but you cannot see that see the cost of curd is 30 rupees per liter the cost of ghee ghee is 425 rupees per liter whereas ghee is born out of curd the rates are different in the same way tailam tile yatha tile tile cost is 80 rupees per kg whereas tile tile cost is 550 rupees per kg so which is born out of the raw material raw material cost is less whereas the output cost is very high and its values are also very high and high calcium content is present in krishna tila and calcium is re- required for the spermatogenesis and oogenesis in both cases calcium is needed that's why in one of the trial under dr pramod et al what we saw that the murchita tila tila itself is significant than ashwagandha tila so rather than using many precious costly herbs only murchita tila is showing result it is because of high concentration of calcium in tila in prasuti research uh, people can do research on moodagarbhokta akshirabala tila is there moodagarb moodagarbha chapter of sushruta talks about one akshirabala tila which is not uh, kalka kwata akshira siddha akshirabala tila which is not available in the market the tila are dipped into the uh, the tila kashayam and bala kashaya 100 times they are soaked in the kashayam and dried up after that the tila are extracted in the oil extractor what oil comes out of that tila is called akshira uh, bala tila and that tila is also very effective in uh, male reproductive and female reproductive disorders in gadanigraha there is a reference book dashapaka bala tila dashapaka bala tila that is akshira bala tila 10 times paka is also effective in spermatogenesis and oogenesis in a, in one of my clinical trial we have tried long back but it is not available in the market so grita is the last part of dairy products and shukra is the last product of the dhatus there is a simile stem cells and sarvadeeka shukra dhatu this is stem cells are very special characterized cells when uh, when person is having a crisis they can start working for spermatozoa patient gets a scrotal tumor see undescended testes if it is not removed by archipexy surgery or if the patient is leaving undescended testes in the abdominal wall itself they convert into scrotal cancer i have two or three cases in the past that they were having male infertility but scrotal tumor was their diagnosis carcinoma of testes when uh, testicular surgery was done there is no chance of spermatogenesis then i was not having this idea of stem cell surgery which is no i am talking about 15 or 16 years ago but now it is possible that from the lymphoblast 
a stem cell is taken whether it is a totipotent or a multipotent or pluripotent that stem cell can be modified into spermatozoa this is possible so any dhatu rasadraktam tato mamsam mamsan meda prajayate by using one particular blood borne stem cell or fat borne stem cell or bone marrow borne stem cell we can develop spermatozoa by stem cell engineering technology so this is one of the advantage for the undergraduate students hearing today's lecture that this is also possible how to give interpretation for rasad raktam tato mamsam in sharira kriya if at all the auditorium students and the teacher knows this in viva was you will be passed but if any both external examiner comes if you tell this rasad raktam tato mamsam explained by me they may fail you also that's why student should be doing a customer satisfaction program we should know from where the speaker has come or external examiner has come what is there in his mind accordingly i have to give two three answers one is stem cell concept for rasad raktam tato mams another is the regular what hindi english books have written rasa will convert into rakta rakta will convert into mamsa physiology will not accept this modern physiology people they will laugh how blood can manufacture muscle blood can give nutrition to muscle but not blood is converted into muscle and muscle is converted into bone these are all very jokes in ayurveda but if you don't write this in your theory exam you may be failed so you should tell rasad raktam tato mamsam you should tell theory 1 hypothesis 1 hypothesis 2 so then you can quote these uh, guest lectures and then give an answer so stem cells are totipotent stem cells they are naturally identical twinning there is a twinning concept in stem cell now we have twinning concept for father and son dress code we have twinning concept for mother and daughter's dress code in the same way stem cells having twinning you keep with any tissue it will convert into that form this is the beauty of stem cell you take stem cell and go to the bone marrow cell when bone marrow dysplasia is there bone marrow hypoplasia is there bone cancer is there there the stem cell will develop as bone marrow cells if you put them into the uh, similarly when you are putting them into the spermatozoa they will also develop into spermatozoa so spermatogonal stem cells they are very interesting spermatogonal stem cells type a and type b are there these spermatogonium stem cells they does not differentiate into a spermatocyte but a precursor of spermatocyte they can develop they will develop into a precursor part one step before they will develop so that they are the reservoir of spermatogonia whereas type b spermatogonia on the other hand they differentiate into spermatocyte directly which in turn undergo meiosis and they cause mature spermatozoa so there is a difference between type a spermatogonia and type b spermatogonia stem cells see these are the spermatogonial stem cells you can see that in sertoli cell we come across two or three cases of sertoli cell only syndrome in our practice in one year two or three cases in that you can see that this is a sertoli cell from the basal membrane in them there will be no spermatogonia there will be no primary spermatocyte there will be no secondary spermatocyte if you take testicular biopsy there will be only sertoli cell no other spermatogonial cell it is called sertoli cell only syndrome this syndrome is 100% asati in the morning you saw 44 xxy kalaman syndrome i have seen only three cases in my 30 years of experience all three are 100% asathya but due to the development in stem cell surgery i don't know in future stem cell engineering may come across with some success in kalaman syndrome and sertoli cell only syndrome in sertoli cell only syndrome there will be no spermatogonia primary or secondary in the biopsy we see that only sertoli cells are there then that cannot be treated that is asadhya that is shukra kshay if you come across one more uh, pg entrance question as well as first year bms question shukra pramanam what is the quantity of shukra in the body mastishkasya ardhanjali shukrasya tavadeva mastishkasya ardhanjali tasya tavadeva what is the meaning is ardhanjali pramana is accepted in ayurveda for shukra pramana this ardhanjali we have measured in one of the cases i remember 
a patient from Nepal. He was a senior uh, citizen. He came for uh, semen analysis. Very curious. At the age of 52, he was my classmate. He came for semen analysis voluntarily. Then when we checked, we came to know that he was having 195 million sperm concentration per ml. But what was the problem is, he was having erection failure, but count was very normal. Count was very normal. In another case, we checked one of the patients from Rajkot. He came to me. Still, we remember. He was having 10 ml of semen volume. 10 ml. Normally, we don't see 10 ml. But it was like a water in the test tube when we examined. It was Shukra Taral. One of the Bhaisajaratnavali diagnosis for this is Shukra Taral. Shukra is like a water. 10 ml of quantity. Normally, 1.5 to 4.5 ml. But nowadays, WHO says 1 ml to 1.5 ml is also normal quantity of semen per ejaculate. But he was having zero sperm count. So then what we understood is, when we asked the patient to hold the semen in the uh, palm, in uh, one Artha Anjali, it was completely full. But unfortunately, there was no sperm count. So Shukranjali, we have seen that one of the, I did one of the survey studies in Army, Navy, Defense uh, Base. We came to know that people ejaculate Artha Anjali exactly. We have seen that they measure Artha Anjali. In the half of the hand, they can collect the semen and show that. Artha Anjali Pramana is possible. But it is not for all. It is Shukra Sara Purusha who is having Sarvadhatu Bala is very high. For them, it is possible. And Dhatu Paraniti Kala, this is one more uh, interesting uh, physiology. We are conducting uh, andrological studies for uh, 30 days, 7 days, 62 days, and 75 days. One course for male infertility is like this. There is a reference for milk that Satya Shukra Janana Nam Sreshta. Gokshira is Satya Shukra Janaka. So we did a Uttara Vasti. That one day Uttara Vasti we gave it pure cow's milk and we saw that patient is having semen volume rise. If you give Estimadu plus Kshira, within seven days, whitish, alkaline, milky, Shukra will be ejaculated. That is Satya Shukra Janana Nam Sreshta in seven days. So in the same way, uh, <coughs> there are totally 18,090 colors in the entire uh, uh, seven dhatus uh, pervasion. In 24 hours, Shukra Dhatu can be manufactured by Rasadhat. In seven days, Shukra Dhatu can be manufactured by Rasadhat. One more uh, paksha is there, seven into four, 28 days. One lunar calendar, uh, calendar of the female is also time taken for Shukra Parani. We do double of it. 30 plus 30, 60 days course we make for, we give long time for manufacturing of spermatogenesis. We, and one of the physiology book in the long back, it has quoted that 72 days is the time taken for one spermatogenesis cycle. So these are all Shukra Pariniti Kala. In one day, if you give Vajikarana drug in one day, if you give Vajikarana drug in seven days or 30 days, 62 days or 75 days. And one more physiological article was telling 90 days time is required for Shukra Pariniti Kala. Accordingly, our uh, andrological studies are uh, designed. So, Shukra Pariniti Kala, Rasadhatu one day, Raktadhatu two days, according to Sushruta five days, in Mamsadhatu three days or tenth day, in Medhadhatu four days or fifteenth day, or in Majadhatu six days or twenty fifth day, and in Shukradhatu seven days or thirtieth day. Like this, Shukra Pariniti transformation takes in one month. Shukra Utpati, how it takes place? Ayurvedic theory says that Rasad Raktam Tato Mamsan Mamsan Medas Tato Astihi Cha Asno Majja Tata Shukran Shukra Garbaha Prajaya. So you can do Kshira Dadi Nyaya, total conversion from Rasa to Shukra. This is Kshira Dadi Nyaya. Kedari Kulya Nyaya is uh, Parinama Mapadimana Adya Rasa will give nutrition supply to Rasa then Rakta, then Mamsa, just like in a farm field. Farmers will be knowing this. They will make many plots. Firstly, they will give, they will give water to first plot. Then they will give to sec second plot. Like that, in Kedari Kulya Nyaya, Krama Parinama Paksha takes place. In Kale Kapota Nyaya, when you give Vajikarna drug, directly Parinama Mapadyamana Adya Rasadhatu will jump to Shukrada. This is a shortcut method, bypass method. This is also possible. All three Nyayas can be taken into consideration for Shukra Uttar. So this is one is Kedari Kulyanaya, second is Kale Kapotanaya, 
we can understand that all three theories can be adopted for shukra utpatti from madhya dhatu acharya charakan grahani adhyaya he said tasmat madhyastu ya sneha shukram samjayate tata vayu akash divir bhavaihi saushiryam jayate asti <coughs> <coughs> the sneha sara which is present in the bone marrow is multipotent or pluripotent stem cells that is sneha sara it is not uh, majja pana leading to sneha sara it is majja contains totipotent uh, stem cells from that actually the shukra dhatu nirmana takes place shukra sara purusha lakshana i have two experiences for this he says kshira purna lochana saumya prekshina snigdha वृत्ता सार अंड शिखर संत शिखर दर्शन अंड हिज आलो हाविंग महास्पीच से शुक्र सार वी हव डन क्लिनिकल ट्रयल महास्पीच वर्ड इज यूज इफ दे ग्लूटियस आर वेरी वेल एक्सपैंडेड दे आर शुक्र सार पुरुष लक्ष्य बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली वी डिट ए क्लिनिकल ट्रयल वी वर् हाविंग मैडनेस एन एवर वी सा दट फ्रम डिस्टेंस ही लुक लाइक ए शुक्र सार पुरुष लुकिंग वेरी स्मार्ट हिज बटक्स आर वेरी ब्रॉड he looks very pleasant and we called him and take voluntarily semen analysis he was having jesus man so shukra sara purusha will not always correlate with spermatogenesis shukra saratvam may be inversely proportional to spermatogenesis so for this what we should do is that's why in acharya charaka in vajikarna pada he says to get a beautiful wife or to get a very good man for marriage is bhagyavasha and so i have seen many people many female patient they are extraordinarily uh, looking very good they were having secondary sexual ca- characters extremely good and unfortunately they were having infertility and we did a ultrasound scan she was having no uterus at all and so no uterus even not rudimentary uterus is there then the husband was shocked but he was a good man he said without children also we can live so that was a good man uh, maybe having shukra sara purusha lakshana he tolerated the wife otherwise this will cause the divorce or we uh, uh, we ask them to go for adoption and they did adoption and they are happy now so one who looks very smart need not be vajikarna based very fit this is the message you should know shukra sara purusha should be checked along with that uh, semen analysis must be checked or instead of matching the kundali take the testosterone levels and the semen analysis levels shuddha shukra lakshana this is one of the common question for many examinations see there is a taste of shukra is madhur this is not a pratyaksha gamma bhava in vayavas you should be careful if you tell shukra is madhur immediate question asked by the examiner is have you tasted so you should tell this is not a pratyaksha gamya bhava but it is uh, anumana gamya bhava we can check fructose level in the semen then we can tell that fructose is present means fructose can be quantitatively tested and also quantitatively tested one clue skill is there if patient semen is having fructose positive there will be duct seminiferous duct vas deferens are open if there is a block in the seminiferous ducts or in the vas deferens fructose will be absent madhur rasa will be absent smell avisram there is no bad smell in the semen it should not be having a bad smell putrefied smell and mild fishy odor will be there usually we used to get one day we used to do 5 8 10 semen samples continuously exposed to semen sample we used to get a headache that is due to mild fishy odor of semen consistency bahalam snigdham guru pichilam ganam and spatika sandipam it is a crystalloid in the morning you have seen the physiology professor and anatomy professor telling a slippery nature of fluid is ejaculate the slippery is pichilam understand so what physiology and anatomy professors are telling the slippery nature of shukra the same is explained in ayurvedic uh, macroscopic uh, examination so both are scientific shuddha shukra lakshana continued it will be having a consistency of bahalam bahalam is it should have a proper quantity like 1.5 ml to 4.5 ml shuklam it is whitish in color 
Krita Matrika Taila Sannibam. Sometimes some of the Shukras are opalescent. Opalescent is ghee color or honey color or tilataila color. A small tinge of oil color is there. Then it is called um, tilataila nibam. Okay. And Shukra Kshay Lakshanas. Actually, I am surprised. I was not ready to cook this slide because first year PG students are studying anatomy and physiology. But for their syllabus, uh, Shukra Kshay Lakshana, Vridhi Lakshana is told. Actually, Vridhi Kshay Lakshanas are Roganidana aspects. But I don't know how syllabus makers make this. They have kept Vridhi Lakshana and Kshay Lakshana in Sharira Priya, Vridhi Kshay Lakshana in Roganidana, Vridhi Kshay Lakshana in Kajikitsa, Vridhi Lakshana and Kshay Lakshana in MD first year, final year, PhD. So this is uh, uh, Tantra Doshas. Actually, for first year BAMS, Vridhi Kshay Lakshana should not be kept. Only normal seven parameters, normal Shuddha Shukra Lakshanas. That should be there. Anyhow, it is there in our syllabus. Daurbalyam Mukashushascha Pandutvam Sadhanam Shrama. I am very much shocked. How the first year BMS student will write all these Shukra Kshaya Lakshanas? They will be also asked in Ashtanga uh, the uh, Rasa Panchaka of Vasa. How they will write in first year? And uh, Vamana Karma is non-practical to first year BMS. Whereas Vamana Karma is highly scientific in final year and uh, MD PhDs. There are six chapters on Chalakya, five chapters on Panchakarma, and six chapters on Chalya in Ashtanga Urdhya. All are non practical. Ashtanga Urdhya is a non practical text. But they have to buy it and write. There is no other way. When Shukra Kshaya takes place, erectile dysfunction takes place. Person cannot have normal erection. And Shukra Avisargamcha, there is no ejaculation. We come across with, I have one of my patients. Since eight years, they are infertile. And since eight years, they come to me once in six months or once in a year. And I tell semen analysis. And he never gets ejaculation. He goes to lab and comes back and says, he is unable to ejaculate. And I asked him to do testicular biopsy. And he says, next Monday, he will come with biopsy. And that next Monday has not come. Even after eight years, and it is a low marriage. And the girl is... Um, Unfortunate. She cannot resist him. She cannot quarrel with him. He is unable to ejaculate. That is Shukra Avabhisargam. Unable to ejaculate not even a single drop of semen. So, no prostatic secretions, no seminal uh, vesicle secretions and there is no spermatozoa also. So, this is how Shukra Avisarga is one of the Shukra Kshaya Lakshana. Shukra Kshaya Medra Vrishana Vedana. This is one of the clinical symptoms. Patient comes with testicular pain, tenderness. When our male uh, uh, infertility patient comes, they are afraid of going to our PG scholars. If I tell go to our PG scholar, they say, no, sir. Yeah. Why? They say, no, sir, they will do palpation. They will do a lot of painful like, examination of the scrotum. They get pain. That pain is Shukra Kshaya Lakshana directly. When he says, I cannot undergo scrotal examination, that itself is Shukra Kshaya Lakshana. And Shukra Kshaya, Ashakti Hi Maitune. He cannot have sexual intercourse. Chiradva Prasekaha, delayed ejaculation. See, an ejaculation, delayed ejaculation, retrograde ejaculation. All three are Shukra Kshaya Lakshana. What is retrograde ejaculation is, he will not have sexual intercourse, he will have normal sexual intercourse, but semen will not be ejaculated in the vagina. Once they finish the sexual intercourse, when you go to the urination, there semen will be ejaculated. That is called retrograde ejaculation. In the urine, semen will be seen, but not directly ejaculated during the sexual intercourse. Alparakta Shukra Darshanam. Sometimes we have seen RBC is present in the semen. That is Vimarga Gamanam. Patient will have RBC in the semen. That is Anyadatha Samsarakta Shukra Dosha. Where we get RBC is present in the semen. That is Pyobacteriospermia or Hematospermia. So Ayurvedic people say without microscope, without CASA, without andrology lab, Six years, six thousand years ago, they have documented there will be semen ejaculation with blood. This is Shukra Kshaya Lakshana. So, without a technology and microscope, our people have seen this. Alparakta Shukra Darshanam. Not completely blood will come, blood tinge will come, and RBCs will be present in the microscopic studies. Shukra Vridhi Lakshana. Shukram Shukrashmari. Shukra, just like Pittashmari. Mutrashmari, Shukrashmari is seen. Normally, in five years back, I used to get one or two cases one in, in one year. But nowadays, after starting the postgraduate department, we are getting monthly one or two cases of uh, Shukrashmaris. 
seminiferous vesiculitis with vesiculolith is commonly seen in ultrasound scanning. Scrotal Doppler scanning. Nowadays, more Shukrashmari is coming. One of the important causes is modern medical drugs. These are all drug induced. Atistri Kamata. A person who is having hypersexual, it is due to the excessive Shukra, that is Shukra Vruddhi Lakshmi. There is no Upadatu for Shukra. There is no Mala for Shukra. It is told like this. Somebody says, Shukra Ujas is Upadatu for Shukra. Somebody says, Ojas is Mala of the Shukra, but that Mala is not Dushanat Mala. It is going to be Dhatu Rupi Mala. Shukra Vasrutas, in the morning you have seen very well, but Ayurveda has explained, Vrushanam Shepam, Vrushanam Stanam, Stana Mushka Majja, all are Shukra Vasrutam Mulas. See, Ashtanga Sangra says, Majja is Shukra Vasrutam Mula, Stana is Shukra Vasrutam Mula in male, Stana is Shukra Vasrutam Mula in female. We can understand this. Instead of Rushinam, in the female labia majora is Shukravasrutu Mula. Mula with the Prabhavasthana. Prabhavasthana is, it is a beginning point, not Utpattisthana. Prabhavasthana and Utpattisthana are different. Shukrava Dhamanis. Acharyas talk about Shukrava He Dve. Understand? Shukrava He Dve. There are two, there are two pairs of Shukrava Dhamani. And one is for Shukra Pradurbhava, another is for Shukra Visarga. So, testicular germinal epithelium and the uh, one football ground uh, size of Shukra Vasrotha Mula is told in the morning. That is Shukra Pradurbhava Mula. Whereas Shukra Visarga is ejaculatory ducts, seminal vesicles, the ejaculatory ducts, and prostatic urethra are Shukra Visarga stan. No controversy is in this. And um, there is also a point for Shukra Dushti and Shukra Dushti Nidana. And Shukra Dushti Nidana is excessive consumption of Ruksha Ahara. Ruksha Ahara means without Sridha Ahara. Means 30 or 40 years, Americans have told that eating uh, ghee and fat is going to cause cholesterol and heart block. But in the 2020, they are telling that there is no relation be between cardiac myospasm or cardiac infarction and consumption of cholesterol. And so 30 years or 40 years, they said, all Indians to stop eating ghee. And now they are telling there is no relation between them. In the same way, there should not be ear drops for ear. Since 20, 25 years, all ENT doctors are telling, don't put ear drops, oil. It will spoil the ear. What has happened? In the past 20 years, fungal infections of the ear are rising in number. So these are all marketing. Don't put oil. You will get fungal infections. Go to the doctor. Take antifungal drops. So like this, modern research is keeping on changing. So Ati Vivaya, why Shukra will get defective is due to excessive sexual intercourse. What is excessive sexual intercourse? I have my patients. They are very unmanly people. They are asuras. They are devils. I have got one of my patients came. He, he is so mad that he wants sexual intercourse with wife or anyone during their menstrual cycle. See, this is the negative attitude. And she suffered with a mental trauma. Now he is having uh, a phobia of sex. He said he, he used to do sexual intercourse during menstrual cycle. Now he is depressed. He says due to that in, in incidence, I am not having erection. I am manly less now. I am not a man now. Give some treatment. And he is not responding to any medicine. So this is due to Ativyavaya. Ativyavaya means during fertile period, having sexual intercourse with your own partner is normal. Having sexual intercourse, not in a fertile period, not with your own spouse is Ativyavaya. Answer. Not, for example, in all um, media and movies, they will tell that when uh, the wife is pregnant, they will have extramarital affairs. That is Ativyavaya. They should do Shukra Dharana when uh, women is pregnant. That's why you know when there is a pregnant wife, they will leave the beard. They will look like a Devadas. Why it is told, you should not get attracted with other uh, extramarital effects. And uh, Asatmyanancha Shrevana Akale Ayonava Ayonava Maithanam Very interesting Charaka's concept. Akale Maithanam. During fertile period only, one should have a sexual intercourse. Ayoni Maithana means what? The sodomy, oral sex, 
or all perverted sex are causes for shukra dristi that is ayoni gamanam ayoni gamanam i have seen when i was a pg student i got a patient he was having sexual intercourse with donkey and he developed a wound on the penis he came for erectile dysfunction so this is practically possible ayona and maithunam nachagachata this is celibacy not at all having sexual intercourse throughout the life will cause shukra dristi so shukra vega dharana shukra vega ati udirana both are responsible for shukra dristi one more word is there nari nam arasagnata is a cause for shukra dristi what is this a very good counseling technique in ayurveda nari nam arasagnata if a husband doesn't understand the wife shukra dristi takes place see the beautiful quotation why male should understand the female he should understand the female because his shukra dristi will not take place if we don't read the wife's mind if we don't understand the wife's expectations then there will be shukra dristi another thing is narinam arasagnata means the female demands the sex and he is not ready to do that then also shukra dristi takes place gamanat jaraya tatha see the ayurvedic concept a male marrying the female which is elder than him will cause shukra dristi but now it is a fashion maybe you are a sports person maybe you are a film star marrying elder girl has become a very big fashion but ayurveda says if you marry a female who is elder than you shukra dristi will take place nothing will nobody will die shukra dristi will take place then they have to put money on the big hospitals and they have to come to tarnath college <laughs> and then vyadi bihi kashitasya cha when person suffer with any disease there will be seven infection or shukra drishti i have got an example in hospital one of the mbbs couple were there gynecologist and mbbs husband they were leading practitioners of infertility i went to learn what they are doing they allowed me okay because i used to do seven analysis in the market they saw that i am doing seven analysis as per who they encouraged me to do i saw that any person comes to their hospital with male infertility they used to give 10 procaine penicillin injections this was their routine style and they said 10 penicillin injection patient will conceive i was not ready to understand i said madam i'll take before and after seven analysis i saw that whoever takes penicillin injections definitely sperm count and motility goes down so this is vyadi bihi karshitasya cha and drug induced also i saw any patient having gastritis gastroduodenitis taking lot of omeprazole groups or rabiprazole groups sperm count comes down and also i have seen in the high school group or in the primary school group male children taking levocitrizin montelukast all these antihistamines given in the primary school age or high school period they will have low sperm count when they get married except amikacin no modern antibiotics are safe if you give amikacin injection i have done the trials before and after amikacin will not disturb the semen analysis other than that all cephalosporins all amoxicillin in the olden times there was clotrimazole and some septran tablet was coming this is highly toxic to semen when i was a beginning practitioner this clotrimazole was very important antibiotic septran septran ds i was surprised to know that Uh, the one of the famous urologist of bellary at that time he used to write septran ds daily one word for one year for urinary tract infections and cystitis chronic cystitis cysto urethritis and if he takes one year septran ds tablet they have to come to us this is definitely they will have shukra drishti so what acharya charaka talks about shukra drishti hetus are all practically possible so vega gata tukshata cha i have seen whoever undergo hydrocele operation or hernia operations they will have semen infections or semen disorders and vega dharana mootra vega dharana purisha vega dharana will also cause this what are the shukra drishti types and shukra drishti lakshanas phenilam tanurukshan cha vivarnam pooti pichilam anya dhatu upa samsrishtam avasadi tatha ashtamam ashta reto doshas ashta stanya doshas right like this ashta doshas are famous in ayurveda phenilum is we take semen sample in the beaker 
and we see that there are more uh, phenila that is bubbles are there when bubbles are more frothy is there this is vata jesh chemistry the detergent levels are more in that sugar ph is more ph will be more than 8 if there is a bubble tanu tanu is watery water content is more pichila guna is less vivarnam we have seen it should be milky white or opalescent more than that any brown brownish dark chocolate color any color comes that is vivarna puti puti is bacteria is present in the cement we did a clinical trial my friend dr nagraj pujari from udupi he did a microbiological culture studies when we took the cement they were having pyobacterial spermia pestles were more in the microscopic examination we took agar media and cultured the e coli and then we did only single drug trial on sariva and in another group we took modern medical antibiotics we came to know that single drug sariva 5 grams twice a day for 30 days complete pyobacterial sperma spermia can be treated without modern infection seven infection can be treated by sariva there are four types of sariva so for dragaguna research which sariva is effective in seven infection we can do that pyobacterial spermia there are four varieties of sariva available in western ghats there are four samples and four species are there and the, uh, in that krishna sariva is more effective in semen infections and pichila that is high viscous semen we used to take the semen in the beaker and we put a glass rod and uh, lift it a thread formation takes place if thread formation is more than 7 cm in length then we call it as kafaja shukradushti pichila shukradushti then one more phd trial is done by dr nagras pujari 10 grams of ashwagandha plain churna twice a day with plain water caused less sperm count it decreased the sperm count but improves the pichila guna when pichila shukradushti is there ashwagandha is good see whenever you, you go to the market everybody everybody writes quintals of ashwagandha for vajikarana purpose how many people's sperm count is damaged god knows so ashwagandha cannot be written to anyone anywhere only for pichila shukradushti only for kafaja shukradushti it is indicated anya dhatu upasamsrishta when rbcs are present and debris material is present we can demonstrate in a seven sample after this and <clears throat> avasadi what is avasadi is rashastra people know this when you do shuddha shilajitu lakshana in a beaker of water you put one drop of shilajitu if it dips or if it makes threads the quality of shilajitu is decided is it right if you dip one drop of shilajitu into a glass water beaker if it makes threads it is healthy it is normal if it directly dips it is not a good shilajitu in the same way take one drop of semen put it into the glass beaker with water if semen dips into the water it is avasadi shukradushti we have seen such cases avasadi is guru guna vruddhi in shukradushti and if it is making some threads and slowly dips it is normal semen shukrava srutu drushti lakshana sa shukrasya dosha klepyam aharshan whenever patient gets erectile dysfunction it is due to shukra dosha rogi va klepam alpayur virupam va prajayate this is uh, mudanambike whenever an abnormal baby is born we, we come across many abortions done mtp is done when head is not developed in the fetus they will do abortion it is very good some of the couple tell that two or three times the patient is having pregnancy but head is not developing that is rahu dosham because in rahu ketu one is having only head one is not having head so what we came to know that torch panel will be positive for them that is one of the shukra drushti with rasa drushti lakshana where herpes simplex 1 and 2 are positive and patient is having uh, herpes simplex virus along with that torch panel igg igm for torch panel rubella when it is positive they will have rogiva the baby born will be having many diseases from the beginning congenital anomalies clebum the shukra drushti person will conceive but the baby will also become clebe in future see this is the two generation studies of ayurveda so before conception shukra drushti lakshana should be checked shukra dosha should be treated rasayana vajikarana should be given and then only they should conceive otherwise he will be alpayu or rogi and he will be kleba and contrary to the, this vajikarana they have charaka samhita chikitsa sthana 
If a couple take Vajikarana and get conceived, Sapatyam, that is their children, grandchildren, and grand-grandchildren will be having effect of Vajikarana. If your grandfather has taken Vajikarana, grandmother has taken Vajikarana, you will have Vajikarana effect. You will have very good normal offsprings. This is the Shukra Vasarutva Dhrishti Lakshana. Garbaha Patati Prasaravatyapi, miscarriage is due to the Shukra Dhrishti. Take it granted. If there is infertility in female, it is due to the Shukra Dhrishti. If there are repeated abortion, Kakavandya, it is due to Shukra Dhrishti. Sapatyam Sadaram Bhadayate Indranam. If Shukra is there, wife will be suffering. And the child which is born will be suffering. Why it is so? The immunologically weak children will be born if Shukra is there. So, Sapatyam, why wife will suffer? She will have repeated abortion. People will tell uh, there is a mistake of Bahu. My son is normal. Bahu is abnormal. So, she will suffer. And repeated abortion and the gynecologist will treat again and again DNC, again and again uh, tube test. They are very painful. DNC and also the tube testing, histosalpingogram are very painful. People will cry. If you hold the uh, cervical orifice, we say, force you cannot imagine what sort of uh, pain will be there. So, Sapatyam Bhadayati. Shukra is in the male. Female will be again and again sent to the doctor. She will undergo painful uh, procedures. That is, Shukram hi dushtam. If Shukra is dushti is there, Sapatyam, Sadaram, Bhadayati, and Runa. I have seen many female patients suffering due to the male factor positive. Okay? So, now we come to some seminal analysis chapters. In our hospital, in our uh, department, we have developed computer assisted seminal analysis. See, when I see in a microscope, I have to count the moving spermatozoa. There may be mistakes in counting. We have to count in Z fashion for the motility. We have to count in Newbers chamber. We used to load the Newbers chamber with semen sample and we used to count in the Newbers chamber. Many mistakes will be there when we count. When it, it was happening, when uh, B.S. Prasar, our uh, Pitamaha in Vajikarana, when he used to do microscopic examination, he used to tell sperm count is normal. When I was a junior, I used to do, no sir, sperm count is less. When Niranjan Rao was doing sperm, uh, sp sperm count, he was very accurate in doing motility studies. So with a counting chamber, we used to do, and he says 60%, I say 40%. So our research was in trouble. Then we heard that computer-assisted semen analysis at that time was one of the ray of hope to make minimized mistakes in semen analysis. Accurate count, accurate motility, accurate abnormal forms is possible by computer-assisted semen analysis. We also count the, the DNA fragmentation studies. This is one of the recent trend in making semen analysis. Count will be normal, motility will be normal, morphology is normal, patient is not conceived. The current andrologists and gynecologists say that count motility is nothing to do. Only one sperm is enough to do conception. Only one sperm is enough. No millions of uh, warriors are not required. Then the modern world war, DNA fragmentation study. If DNA, that is in the acrosome, DNA is there. In the nucleus, DNA is there. If DNA is damaged, even though there are millions of uh, sperms are there, they are waste. Like in our uh, hall, there are almost 80 people. All are sitting and all are hearing. How many people will understand, take the uh, concept very seriously and develop? We don't. Everybody is hearing. Everybody is seeing at this uh, seminar. But how many people will really understand to the depth is very important. In the same way, sperm count is 1 million. 1 million is not needed. Only one sperm is needed. So if the nucleus is having DNA damage, they will not conceive. So DNA fragmentation study can be done in the CASA uh, analysis, vitality studies. When we put EOS in stain, the abnormal sperms will become red. Normal sperms will become colorless. Acrosome reaction and leukocytes. If uh, uh, WBCs are more in the semen, it is going to cause lycocytosis in the semen. The patient will not have conception. So, when we perform uh, semen analysis, we collect the semen. See, normally, three, they should have sexual intercourse. After that, a three days gap must be given. Then they should collect the semen and give. They should bring semen sample from the home within 20 minutes. If they come after one hour or two hours, it is waste. There will be coagulation of the semen and wrong report will come. Or they should collect in the semen lab itself 
I'll give it. And some people can do masturbation and give the semen sample. Some people cannot do masturbation and sample collection. Then what we do is coitus interruptus is a method. We have a solution for everything. Then in our andrology lab, we have a separate privacy room where the couple can have sexual intercourse. When patient is about to ejaculate, remove the penis from the vagina and collect in a beaker and give it. This is called coitus interruptus. Then after collection, we will observe for 30 minutes. It is going to be liquefied. The watery part and the other part will be separated. Then we will have spit ejaculation and then we will take the semen sample for testing. The container should be very clean. They are autoclave. There should not be infection in the any beaker. So there are sterile beakers available. They are not reusable. Okay. In that, we have to write the patient name, number, date, and all. Collection time. So we write collection time and examination time. Liquefication time is normally 30 minutes. And one lab to another lab, we can transport the semen sample. Normally what happens is every lab will collect the semen, but they will not do the test. They will take it to another lab and there they will do. But all MD pathologists will not do correct semen analysis. They will give only um, approximate values. So normal semen uh, quantity is 1.5 ml. Minimum sperm count when I was a student, it was 165 million is normal. When I was a practitioner, it was 120 million. When I was a 10-year-old practitioner, it came to 65 million. When I was a uh, head of the PG department, it came to 30 million. And when my students have taken the trial, it is 15 million is normal. See, this is modern science. They have reduced the normal standard itself. It may be same for blood glucose also. It may be same for BP values also. When I was a student, uh, 120 above itself is uh, hypertension. 122 is hypertension. Now they say 150 by 90 is normal. So this is modern sense. And BMS students have a wrong uh, concept in their mind. I am very sorry for that. Because they are Kora Kaugas. They came to Tarnath College because their parents want them to do a medical course. And they are studying for CVT and they want to jump to MBBS again. In MBBS, they are changing the standard itself. And they are changing the normal values itself. And yes, sir, see, even though you are a 20 year old MD general medicine in modern medicine, you have to see the bracket because every method has got a normal values change. Even uh, TSH value 5.5 is normal according to one lab, 8.5 is also normal according to one lab. If they do before testing uh, one lab, after testing another lab, they will come and beat us. My TSH was 5.4 before treatment. After Ayurvedic drug, it has gone to 8. It is abnormal. And for this science, more than 10 or 12 first year BMS students are preparing for CT and they want to go to MBBS, which is not having their own scientific standards. Neither ESR is standard nor semen count is standard. And 1.5 million is normal now. And in the morning, you would have seen the professor of physiology says 100 million is normal. Maybe he is not updated with WHO. And the gynecologist many times quoted me, hey, you are telling normal for 20 million also. And I read when I was a gynecology PG that 120 million is normal. They are still in the PG time. But WHO is uh, decreasing the normal value itself. So this is how modern science is always changing. But Ayurvedic uh, science, Spatikabam, Dravam, Sniktam, Maduram, Madhugandicha, no change at all. There is no change at all. 6,000 years unchanged. Okay. So like this, sperm morphology, 4% should be abnormal. pH should be 7.2. In the olden uh, trials, they used to tell 7.5 is also normal. This is our andrology lab. After this talk, boring uh, talk, we will take you to the live uh, testing of andrological semen analysis. So this is a phase contrast microscope. In the morning, Dr. V. S. Prasad was telling our uh, uh, president of BOA NCSM, it is the only Ayurvedic college having CASA and uh, phase contrast microscope in India. He said, all the best for your uh, program and also any trials NCSM is with you. This was his message. So this is 8 lakh rupees microscope. Understand? And another thing is, its software is more than 20 lakhs. So you see and understand that's all. You cannot implement in your clinic. This is not for implementing. Don't dream that I will also develop a CASA. 
if you develop it is very good marry any ambani's daughter and uh, develop a castle lab okay it is a dream for you correct but you should earn money to invest it is most accurate uh, uh, sperm analysis or semen analysis can be done there is a sperm meter we record on the computer motility can be recorded count can be recorded and stored all patients data can be stored whenever you want you can take back the data and see this is the advantage of uh, this software and uh, in karnataka after manipal medical college manipal udupi manipal only equipment available is in tarnath government ayurvedic hospital because of our principal effort and also it is available in ndri the animal husbandry lab in bangalore is also having this but that's not for humans that is for animals veterinary uh, people they are also having the ugs pgs many of the house surgeons are coming and uh, uh, learning about this andrology lab and today we want to tell that first year mb bms student should know that this is all about shukradhatu this is all about shukra pariksha this is also about andrology lab that's all you can answer very well in your theory and uh, practical exams okay and um, uh, 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 my pg students dr pramod and uh, dr manoj and uh, nalina will take you to the andrology lab and uh, they will explain you practically i am thankful to all uh, organizing pg scholars it is by them it is for them and it is to them to them and uh, i am thankful to all the uh, faculty members for their patient hearing and uh, this is uh, really integration and i am thankful to dr nandini she was behind this sir do this do this she was bringing a letter and uh, we are happy that uh, we have done a good work because of your project and uh, we have done our brother bhai sham kishor and uh, he is always behind these good activities it is the last year for him next year if he conduct he will not be in our college he will be retired so uh, it's a good time that we are uh, with you anna yes, thank and you. thank you anna thank you so Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kalida. Thank you, Kalida. Thank you so much. All of you. All of you. How much time have you?